Wherever you are on Earth, it's impossible to tell what our planet's shape is. European scholars and educated people during the Middle Ages believed the Earth to be flat rather than spherical. But it has been known that the Earth was round since the time of the ancient Greeks. As far as we know, it was Pythagoras who first proposed that the Earth was round sometime around 500 BC. He based his idea on several factors, including the fact that he showed the moon must be round by observing the shape of the Terminator as it moved through its orbital cycle. The Terminator is the line between the part of the moon in light and the part of the moon in the dark. Pythagoras reasoned that if the moon was round, then the Earth must be round as well. Around 350 BC, the great Aristotle declared that the Earth was a sphere based on observations he made about which constellations you could see in the sky as you traveled further and further away from the equator. And during the next hundred years or so, Aristarchus and Eratosthenes actually measured the size of the Earth. It was incontrovertibly confirmed as soon as the Soviet Union launched the Sputnik 1 satellite in 1957, and it went around the globe. Thousands of years have passed, but the belief in a flat Earth refuses to die. Somehow, Earth is a near-perfect sphere to better than 99% precision. But what if it was flat? If our planet was truly flat, it would not behave much like the planet we know today. In fact, humanity wouldn't exist at all. Based on how the physics work, you would need to spin the Earth extremely fast to shape it into a disk. As a result, this centrifugal force would destroy the planet by tearing it into tiny particles. That's why there are no planet-sized disks floating around the galaxy. Even if the Earth was somehow flat, the gravity would be so different from what we have right now. Gravity pulls equally from all sides which explains why planets are spheres. On a flat Earth, as you get further and further away from the center, gravity would pull you horizontally. This would cause some strange effects, such as sucking all the water to the center of the world and making plants grow diagonally. At this point, with gravity going haywire, everything about our planet rapidly stops making sense. The atmosphere wouldn't exist at all. That's because it is gravity that holds it to the planet. Tides, gone. They're caused by the gravitational pull of the moon, which tugs on the oceans and causes them to subtly bulge out as it swings by. Tides churn up material in the oceans, which allows coastal ecosystems to thrive. Without a coastal ecosystem, this could have knock-on effects for other land and sea animals and could lead to mass extinctions. Even the moon would disappear. And again, that's because of the gravity that holds the moon in orbit around Earth. But the problems don't end here. The Earth revolves around the sun because the sun is much heavier and has a greater gravitational pull. The reason Earth doesn't fall into the Sun is that it is traveling in orbit. The Sun's gravity isn't acting alone. The planet is also traveling in a direction perpendicular to the star's gravitational tug. If that gravity is switched off, the Earth would shoot away in a straight line and hightail itself out of the solar system. Explanations trying to justify a flat Earth don't have any basis in mathematics or physical reality. 
The reality here is that the Earth and the Moon are both spherical for the same reason. Gravity.